There must be about 40 kilograms of blueberries sitting right here. 12 rubles per kilo, which is around maybe $4.50 US. Hi, I'm in Minsk, Belarus, and I'm doing my weekly shop down here at Kamarovka Market. I want to take you with me. I want to show you what's available here, what are the prices, and what's the vibe down here at the local market. If you're going to spend some time here in Minsk, I highly recommend you live somewhere near Kamarovka Market here. It's near Yukuba Colossa Metro Station, number 118. It just gives you so many food options. What I do see here is pretty much every foreigner who's living here just eats out. Right? Restaurant meals, lunch, restaurant meals, dinner, and it's really unhealthy. So I don't want to sledge all my mates here, but pretty much everyone lives this degenerate lifestyle. So I highly recommend that you do live somewhere near here at Kamarovka Market. This is the main street here. You'll see this fountain and quite a few statues. That's the main part of the market in there, kind of all your non-seasonal stuff, your dairy, your meat and so forth. And this is a seasonal market. So let's walk in and do some shopping. I want to get some blueberries first because, look, I'm used to having them in the West and you buy them like 100 grams for like three US dollars and here they cost that for a kilo, right? So. I tend to get three or four kilos in one hit and maybe eat them over the course of four or five days. We've got some here. So let me just tell you the exchange rate. The exchange rate's around 2.5 rubles per one US dollar. So it gives us a nice round uh, number to deal with there. So we've got some uh, raspberries, around 12 rubles. You can just see the volume there. They're just lined up and... Well, watch this transaction. This is a lady going to sell some, I think, strawberries, uh, blueberries. You see there, just in the... Like that, just scoop them in. This is going to be several kilos in one go as well. So these are around 16 rubles, which is around uh, six or seven US dollars. They're quite large, if you can't see, so they're um, a little bit more expensive. Your basic entry level ones are going to be around probably 12 rubles and maybe 20 for the very, very best. So you've got some strawberries here at around four dollars per kilo, and raspberries around kind of five dollars per kilo. So I put these in my smoothie, so I'm just looking for a reasonably low price here. We've got apples here, these are around one dollar a kilo. Let me find some nice uh, blueberries up here. There's some corn in season all of a sudden. Again, around one dollar uh, per kilogram. This might be our go here. Bit of a queue here though. We've got some for around 12 rubles there. These are great for the smoothie. These would be around uh, four dollars fifty US. Bit of a queue there though, so I'll move on up here. There'll be plenty more. There's lots of sellers here. No shortage of blueberries, so I'll find something similar. The pricing always ends up merging towards a pretty comparable price. So here's some here for twelve. So I might get uh, maybe three kilograms of this. You can just see how dense that is. That must be twenty-five kilograms alone there. You can see the size difference there. Big ones there, a bit juicy, a bit tasty, a bit sweeter, and uh, cost around kind of eight dollars versus around four dollars fifty here. So I'll just order some of these. I'll get myself three kilos. Starasa. Modina poji lista three kilogram. A three kilogram. All right, let's watch her in action here. Scoop all these up. He's got this normal little dustpan thing here, and it's just. Look at that for volume. Oh. Three kilos will do me, probably doesn't even do me a week to be honest. I'm just uh, really enjoying the blueberry season. This food here can be a bit funny, you know, like for a few months of the year, not much is going on. I was actually going to put them in two separate bags. That's 1.3 kilos there. I was going to put them in separate bags there. It's 1.5 in each bag. But it's just a lot of volume. It's a lot of blueberries. If you haven't seen me picking blueberries, I actually went to the forest. You can actually just pick these wild, they're kind of everywhere. So I went down to a forest uh, near the southern border and picked quite a few kilograms uh, a couple of months ago during the peak of the summer. Alright, so we've got two bags of one and a half kilograms each. It'll be 36 rubles, which is, uh, what's that? Maybe 15 US dollars. So again, we're kind of piling them up there. Let's see how many blueberries there are. And just putting them all in one go. Uh, yeah. Peaches are very much in season. These are around $2 a kilo. Uh, also grapes as well, kind of like $1.50 or so per kilo. I might just grab a kilo of these. These are the nicest ones here. 
might just get uh, maybe 10 rubles worth, I think. I want to get some cucumbers here. So these are around uh, 4 rubles, around $1.50 per kilo. This is kind of expensive. They're at the end of the season. If you go back maybe a month, it was like maybe 50 cents for a kilo. But I'll get a few of these. And what I'll do is I'll just finish my shopping and then I'll take you for a walk around. So you can just see everything that's here and how much it costs. So just the conditions here and the feeling here uh, at the market. This is one kilogram to about a dollar fifty US. You can see there's probably about fifteen or twenty of those little things in there. Um, great for smoothies. Good volume there. We've got some chili here, and I really love to cook steak at home. And I love to kind of chop some of this up and put it in the oil as I'm frying it. it gives it a really nice flavour. Uh, so I'm just going to get a couple of these as well. This is fifteen rubles a kilo. Now, of course, if you've bought chili before, you know this will be very, very light. Uh, this whole container wouldn't even be a kilo, so I'm going to get a couple of these. I, I anticipate it being like 20 cents or something. So these two were uh, 70 cop, so this is around uh, maybe 25 US cents for these two. These are sized chilies. Do a little bit of a walkthrough now, show you exactly uh, what's on sale here. Now it's very early on a Friday morning, it's around 10 a.m., so not many people around. Just a few, uh, I won't say the word in Russian because I'll understand it, but obviously grandmothers uh, is the English word. They're kind of queuing up. So you know when there's a big queue of uh, grandmothers here, you know that um, you got the best deal. That's the best bargain, right? So if I want the cheapest, I don't even look. I just go where they're going. They know what's going on. So lots of different kinds of apples. Apples are a bit small at the moment um, and a bit rare as well. They seem to be more prolific at other times of the year. There's a few kicking around, but not that many compared to normal. So also got blackberries here. Blackberries are around three dollars, that around four dollars. Yeah, four dollars fifty US dollars per kilo. Um, strawberries are around ten. And then raspberries are around twelve. We're around four dollars fifty US. Uh, they're really delicious, but the only problem with them is they do go off so quickly. Even in the fridge, like one or two days in, they start going white, and you, you've really got to freeze them. So my freezer is full of uh, raspberries. So more of the same here. So this is saying very sweet. Watch this okay. Also very sweet. This is what it says there. Got these really long grapes. Cheaper grapes there at 250. Remember, 250 is the exchange rate, so around one dollar for those grapes, almost two dollars for these grapes here. Some mandarins in there as well, around kind of three dollars per kilo. Some plums there, around a dollar fifty per kilo. A few more apples. I think apples are coming back in the season actually. I reckon about a month ago, kind of August time, there was almost none around at all. Actually, now I haven't been here for a couple of weeks and I see that there's actually a lot more around now. But it's very cheap, it's only $1 per kilo. Uh, and these are a good size actually, so I take back what I said before. Market conditions have changed, and you kind of notice this a lot in Belarus. What's on offer changes very quickly. The prices change quickly as a result of market conditions. And so week to week things can vary a lot. Like those uh, those cucumbers, for example, as I said, I mean, they, they were everywhere just, just three or four weeks ago. They were absolutely everywhere, those cucumbers. and. You couldn't give them away, you know. And now only a couple of people selling them, price up to four rubles. Uh, there's not many of them around. So corn is definitely a new thing. I haven't seen much corn around before. It's around one dollar per kilo for the corn. Got some nice big juicy peaches for around $1.50 a kilo. Uh, getting a bit repetitive here, so let's go into another aisle. They tend to group, so this is obviously kind of the summer fruit section, more or less. Uh, let's go to a more of a under the ground area where you get like beetroot, potatoes, what have you. Well, there's some nice uh, watermelon. I don't even know what they are next door, those lighter ones there. They look like rock melon, <clears throat> but I haven't seen this shape before. So I'm from Turkmenistan, Tech Me they're selling them. So they're like a shape of a watermelon, but um, <clears throat> the color and texture of a rock melon or a cantaloupe, depending where you're from, you call them something different. Uh, if you know, if you're a local or you're around here a bit, and you know what they are, let me know. I'm very curious. All right, lots of tomatoes. You're getting tomato season, wow. A sea of red. 
is it capsicum or uh, some countries I think bell pepper <clears throat> might be called in America for example all right here's some underground oh we've got some greens let's check out some greens here got some spring onion it's very confusing here because they have the same word for spring onion which is this they have the same word for spring onion as they do for normal onions uh, which is look so you get look and you might get this or you might get a normal round onion some mint spinach there some baby spinach world famous dill parsley everything here looks to be around one or two rubles per 100 grams some kind of salad there as well more of the same with some leek here even leek you can see there look written there so leeks are also called look so there's three different kinds of uh, <clears throat> onion which have different names in the west but here uh, the same name for all three actually oh there's some bok choy wow I haven't seen bok choy for a long time I guess they're getting it from China but I, I don't know for sure uh, there's some carrots and some beetroot for around one dollar per kilo. The carrots and beetroot. Look at these big ones, pak choy. Wow, I've never seen pak choy this size before. <laughs> they are monsters. For one ruble, 500 grams. A little bit of pumpkin there, nice rich colour. <clears throat> Got some uh, garlic, some dried mushrooms, and some garlic as well. Very unimpressed, that lady. Oh, yeah, you got some snow beans here. I don't even know what these ones are. If you know what these are, let me know in the orange. And of course, no trip to the market is complete without kartoshka. The lifeblood of the Belarusian diet is around 60 uh, US cents per kilo there. And of course, cabbage behind it. Cabbage finds its way into everything uh, here. But yeah, the potatoes are, they are everything here. Potatoes are, it's a bit of a stereotype and a joke. Haha, -ha, they love their potatoes, but they actually really love them. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of passion there. Um, at least a lot of Belarusians I've spoken to. There's some apricots for around 1.5 US per kilo. Got some celery as well. They'd be locally made, these ones. Locally grown. Uh, usually when you get them in the packet there, they're from maybe a Spansky or some other country. This is mainly the 100 grand prices. If you're looking at the prices there for one ruble, two rubles, 1.2 rubles, it's a 100 grand price. Got some broccoli there too, around $3 per kilo. You can tell it's pretty rare, right? It's the first time you've seen it. Uh, different colours of cauliflower there. Peas. String beans, should I say, string beans. And uh, lots of chilli as well. Lots of chilies around. These are really micro little ones. These are the ones you'll get just kind of on the street, randomly. Someone's darcher. I don't even know exactly. Obviously, they're onions, but <clears throat> um, this particular kind I'm not familiar with. Again, if you know what it is or you're familiar with, feel free to hit me up below. More of the same beans, lots of the same herbs here. And again, some local celery, six rubles a kilo. Uh, one of these is around 500 grams, so around a dollar a bunch there. Something like a dollar a bunch, roughly. All right, that's enough from the seasonal market. What I'll do now is I'll just cut and I'll finish this video and I'll make another video inside uh, where all the meat and the cheese and all the nuts and stuff are as well. I'll give you a quick teaser now. I'll turn the video around and give you a quick teaser because it's quite a sizable area inside. And um, yeah, it's just a really enjoyable experience. I don't know why I like it so much, but uh, I just enjoy the kind of earthiness of it. You know what I mean? So I'll just turn the camera around now and just show you uh, just a sneak peek of the inside area. That's what's uh, very good manners here in Belarus. This gentleman held the door for me. He saw I was filming and held the door for me to help me. Very normal. All right, let's turn around. All right, so this is the inside area, the non-seasonal part 
lots of dairy, lots of meat. Just things like nuts, dried fruit, there's baklava, there's just so many things, different spices. There's a couple of levels here as well. So come back to the channel at some stage and uh, I'll have a walk through and I'll buy a few things in here as well.